Welcome back to Ozark's Fox AM, the KOZL Man Show starts tonight, actually, and we're so excited to have Jim Kammeyer here to talk about the bucket stool, which I'll be honest with you, Jim, I never heard of a bucket stool till this morning, so I went to your website and I checked it out, and now I want one. Awesome. They're cool. They are cool. Tell us about it. Well, I'll tell you what, Jeremy, most times people turn their buckets upside down to sit on. Mm -hmm. It cracks. They deal with all this hard stuff. Yeah. So we're taking buckets sitting to a whole new level, about six inches higher. Have a seat. So I can. this is going to hold me. Oh, absolutely. You promise. Okay. Absolutely. I'm sitting on it. All right. Oh, and it's a good height, too. Yep. So my dad invented it. He loves to go fishing. Mm -hmm. He can catch his fish, put his fish right in the bucket without ever getting up. So that's how it was designed. Now, did Wait, you and it swivels. Yeah. I just realized that. Yeah, it's How spins. does it swivel? It's, it's uh, magic. Actually, it's, it's physics. It just slides on top of the bucket. We designed the, we designed the stool to sit higher so it's more comfortable and have access to the bucket. But the spinning part was actually the easiest part to design. Are you serious? Yeah, we didn't know it was going to happen. Oh! <laughs> happy yeah. accidents. Yeah, happy accidents. I love beat. that. You oh can't my beat gosh, it. Jim. So, in the garden, picking green beans, pulling weeds, trimming your roses. Don't touch the thorns twice, just throw them right in the bucket. That is such yep. a great, I didn't even think about weeding because I usually weed and yep. I throw everything in my yep. compost heap. Yep, well, you just throw them in the bucket, bucket then throw them in, then the throw, in, and in the then compost heap. How did, okay, why, how did this even come about? Like, why were you, who, my your dad, dad invented my, my it, but dad how? Invented it. Well, um, he, uh, he loves to go fishing. And he had acquired a short little uh, thing that went on a bucket for picking green beans, but he couldn't take it fishing with him because it was on the bucket. So hop up for a okay. second. Okay, yeah. The nice thing is, you got your bucket full of fish, yeah. two legs under the handle. The handle's gonna make contact with the stool and you'll hear it'll just, <gasps> now you have a nice snug lid. It's a lid yep. as well? Yep, so you get to where you're going. Never ever turn that bucket upside down again, just flip it over and have a seat. So if you're gonna go to the bonfire, throw your s'mores stuff, all your stuff, go into the hot, make your hot dogs, put your right. buns and stuff in there. So you could, put, and also by the way, an idea. I, look, I'm coming up with ideas because I love this, Jim. You could put ice in the bottom, uh -huh. and then put like your cold beverages, yeah, yeah. and then your spouse could have the other one full of the hot dogs and everything, and there then you go. you've got, you just carry your bucket yeah. down to the campsite. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. I, okay, can I tell you, I didn't know I wanted one until uh -huh. I've actually used it now. Well, you probably don't want one, you probably need two, because you need to get one for somebody that you... It makes a great gift. It's They're so not going to have to pretend they like it. And the people here in the Ozarks, what, you, what resonated with me was the gardening yep. aspect. Because yep. people in the Ozarks, we love our gardens. We love our yards. We like to weed. This yep. is a game changer yep. right here. And, Jeremy, we're very proud to say they're made right here in Missouri. You know, so made in Kansas City area, Excelsior Springs, Missouri. Uh, you're on a five-gallon bucket. Mm -hmm. I'm on a three-and-a-half-gallon bucket. So if you do need to sit lower picking those green beans, you right. can adjust your height. But now so. this one also, I could imagine something like this could height. Now... If I'm working on my car or washing my car, because I mm -hmm. wash it myself, yeah. it hurts to bend over a yeah. lot. So you could really sit on one of these and take the load off while you're washing your car. Yep, and then like I said, well, baseball, softball, mom and dad, soft toss. Ah. Uh, oh, I know I got something in there. You got lots of stuff in that bucket, I can yeah, see. Yeah, you can go ahead and you wash your wheels and stuff. You can reach in there, grab a little soap, water, mm -hmm. you know, wash your wheels. So yeah, it's a, it's a real game changer, We're, you know. This is, you know, it, some of the best inventions are invented out of necessity. Yep. That, and some people didn't even know you, like I said, I didn't know I needed it until you had it. And now I can think of all these different ways yep. I could use it in my yard. Does it fit every bucket? Like if you're buying a bucket, do you have to make sure you get a certain size, the rim? Buckets, buckets are all the same this way. Okay. The difference is this way. That's it. Yep. Well, the only thing you need to make sure of is when it spins, that your handle, the mechanism is not up here interfering with it <gasps> steering. Every um, now and then you'll get a few buckets, but most buckets it's going to so work So you're talking about, fine. look at this part. Let me show that to the camera. So you're talking about this part right here. It can't be up higher yep. because it'll hit this. Yep. Some buckets, they have the, this, the handle, the bale up here real high, mm -hmm. and then it hits it, but just get a different bucket. Put a little wax or silicone spray around the rim of the right. bucket. It helps it spin. Gotcha. So you're going to be at the man show. Yep. What can people expect to see? Are you going to be selling these or how? I'm going to be selling these. Um, come, you know, the man show, those things, they're, they're great shows like this. You get to see a lot of neat uh, new products. You know, stuff, kind of like stuff you might see as on an infomercial. Yeah. Except you get to see them, touch them, try them, um, and ask questions. So it's a, uh, and, and it's a lot of fun. Come down and see us. I'm in booth 134. Okay, 134. Yep. Yep. And you'll have them available. You now, bet. you just buy this top part, correct? Just the top. BYOB. Bring your own bucket. Bring your own, bring your own bucket yep. to the man show. I just had another. Can I talk? I'm thinking of all these ideas. Come on. Okay. Hon, we like them. We you like know, to hear them. You know, as I'm sitting here, the natural thing is you want to spin. Guess who else likes to spin? Kids. Guess where you can store their toys? In right the in bucket. There. 
and the kids can have fun while picking up yep. their toys, picking up their toys, putting in the bucket. You turn it over, and then you have the lid right there, and all the toys are hidden. You got it. <sighs> Jim, I'm yep. a converter to yep. the... <laughs> Innovation does not mean high tech. It doesn't. It's yep. simple. Yep. It's not like yep. you had to put technology and like a lot of electronics in this. Well, this is an upload. That's a download. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, if people want to find this on your website, what's your website? Uh, bucketstool.com. Bucketstool.com. I'm telling you, I'm going to order. So actually, I might just buy some from you at the man show tomorrow. Is that all right? Come and get them. Okay, come and get thank em. you so much. I'm a converter. I can't stop spinning. All right. <laughs>